Hey, so what's going on guys? Make sure we Driven Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So in this video, we'll be doing our very first upgrade for the Volkswagen Beetle which I have right here. So if you've been following the channel, you will know that I just picked this up about one to two weeks back as a replacement for the Volkswagen Vento. So for today's video, we'll be installing the BMC drop-in filter. So this is a filter that uses back the original airbox and original mountings just the filter itself that will be replaced to a high flow drop-in filter so the reason why i do like to use something like this over just say the stock filter is just because i do like to maintain the air filters myself because i have my own uh, cleaning kit i have my own uh, air compressor at home so it's very easy for me to get this actually cleaned up when as and when uh, it gets dirty and moreover in the long run it actually saves costs if you think about it it actually saves costs as compared to changing the original uh, restricted uh, filter which comes with the car so the one that came with the beetle was pretty dirty because i actually opened it up to check so i initially bought the one for max racing but apparently that one was for the previous generation of the volkswagen beetle the one from about year 2013 2014 ish but mine was the 2017 2018 version which means that you'll be using the airbox from the 1.4 tsi so the 1.4 and the 1.2 tsi actually share the same airbox which is something that i found out after ordering the wrong filter so they didn't make one for the beetle 5c because actually the one i have is the beetle 5c so they didn't make one like this so this is actually a very different uh, type of filter compared to the previous generation the previous generation is just like a rectangular filter but this one uses something like open pot design filter so it's a circular filter something like the one that i used in the volkswagen vento as well and i also used the same bmc one for the volkswagen vento so i felt that that was actually pretty good for uh even with the stock tune didn't have any issues at all for the past three years which i drove the car so okay let's uh quickly unbox this and get this installed so being a drop-in filter is really really simple to install of course this has some fiddling to do before you can uh, actually install it on the car so i'll be showing you guys that all right so let's unbox it so bmc comes from italy so of course the price is a little bit more expensive than just say the competitor like KN. so the one that comes from KN, i believe is around 400 300 to 400 range but this is slightly more even some sellers are selling for even 500 over uh, for this same filter so let's take a good look at it so you can see this is actually a circular filter let me try to get this uh, unwrapped all right so you can see this filter is actually a cylindrical design so let me just take a give you guys a tour you can see right here it's actually made in italy if you can see that so overall very very sturdy construction so we do have some bmc stickers if you do wish to use it and of course we have a warranty card i believe there's some certificate ish which i can't read because they are all in another language and then last but not least we do have this i would say seal uh, this is a foam piece where you actually stick onto this portion of the filter before installing all right guys so now that we got the hood popped we're going to unscrew the screws for the air box so this is the air box you can see it's a very different design from the previous generation uh, i would say pre facelift uh, because these are the facelift ones with the led running daylight running lamps all right so you can see right here there are four screws actually there are five there's one more on the inside holding the bracket so we will just unscrew all these four screws all right so now that we have undone all the four screws we can actually just remove the top lid so you can see right here four screws the lid comes off put that to the side so you can see how the air filter looks like the original air filter right, so the next screw which i'm talking about is the one right here this holds the bracket that holds in the filter so you can see the filter can come out unless you remove the fifth screw so we're going to be doing that they are all phillips screw heads unlike the other cars which i've uh, actually done other volkswagens which actually use torx so let me take this out make sure to not drop it i think i should be able to remove it you just slide it out just like that you can see this is actually the bracket which holds in the filter okay so let me put that to the side we should we we'll definitely be using that again so from there you just have to remove the filter that's it 
it's as simple as that once you've got all those few pieces removed you can see let me show you guys how the filter looks like as you can see it's a pretty dirty one all right guys so let me show you how the foam ring goes round similar to the one you saw on the original filter of course the original filter is using a rubber seal this uses a foam seal i'm not sure how this is going to hold up in the heat but yeah we'll see i hope this doesn't like get sucked into the engine or something like that but uh so far i've been using it on the vento similar foam seal as well but it's been doing well so i guess should be fine okay so let's uh, install it into the air box let's slot it in let me figure out how this goes in i bet i should do that the top part in and then the bottom all right so we have a pretty good seal i believe something like that okay now we just have to install back the the clamp here so let me see whether everything fits in yes everything fits in and then once we screw this in then we should be good to go all right so the install is done let's take the car for a quick spin just to make sure everything is okay so let me turn the aircon down a bit all right so let's uh the oil time is not up yet but uh let's just take a drive uh, slowly just to make sure that uh, there's no leaks or any uh, check engine lights or something like that but so far so good you can see from here I'm not sure about the response and stuff like that but from my experience uh, yeah there will be some changes in terms of uh, response the car will be slightly lighter just because it has more airflow which means better combustion which means that you get uh, slightly more power it's not going to be like night and day like a tune but it's definitely going to give you some more pickup because the engine will feel slightly lighter right, so let's just give it a bit of gas yeah definitely more more happy to go as compared with the original filter of course the original filter was also like you know kind of stuck but this feels yeah feels normal to me yeah definitely i didn't expect too much not like a open pod or in the kit or something like that that would definitely give you a nicer tone you can hear the turbo spooling you can hear the sort of a blow off fish the impact noise but no definitely not with a uh, drop -in. so far so good uh install was pretty easy i would say this is a very uh, basic installation you should basically know how to do stuff like that i mean at least uh, it will save you some money even if you are going to install the original uh, filter it's going to save you some money because if you do it at the service center they're going to charge you an exorbitant amount as usual with continental cars or even like any brands in general manufacturer the oem is going to definitely charge you a little bit more if you know how to change it yourself just do it yourself it's not going to void warranty because it's not a modification you're using back the stock parts uh, or even if you do a drop-in, it's not modification. It's not considered under modification because you're still using back the original uh, air box. You're not uh, altering any of uh, the piping and stuff like that. All right, so I hope this video has been informative. I uh, hope you guys like this video. If you did like it, do give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. Definitely, I'll have some more things going for the Beetle. I hope rims and tires next. I have a couple of rims in mind. Uh, I've actually done my research and... I hope to get it within this week so which means that the video will come out probably about next week uh, once I got it like installed on the car itself. Alright so thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.